Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Largo. It's a tier 4 Swedish medium tank and it's located on the south spawn of Highway and it's under the command of Tanker 3331. Now he's entered platoon with Super David 11 and another player who I'll tell you about in a very short while as soon as the countdown's finished. Game's underway. Okay, now the, the other player is Voitcher CZE03. Uh, so, mm, what a name, Voitcher. We're just calling Voitcher. Well, the Largo. It normally has a 75mm gun. Um, yes, this one does have the 75mm with 110. That's the top gun. But it's not a very powerful 75mm gun, I'm afraid. It's quite a weak one. And, uh, well, Tanker 3331, or Tanker as we'll just call him from now on, um, he seems to be having a bit of fun with his teammate who's in the Strid Viz 39, or Strodney 39. Actually, Strodney means medium tank in Czech. Okay, we've got a Panzer 3E ahead of us. This is a tier 4 battle. He's in top tier. And the looks which is Super David, has done a nice bit of damage there and claimed the first kill on the Panzer 3E. But he's not going to move further on until he was clear, until he was unsupported, and now he's unsupported so they can take up positions in the tree line and see if they can shoot some of the enemy. Okay. Right, let's see what we can see. There's the sniper view. And there's nothing directly ahead. But doesn't mean the enemy's not there. Yes, he is. There's a T-29 at distance. And they both seem to have got hits on him. Or rather, they're all firing. And yes, um, he picked up 51 hit points of damage assist there. As well as uh, two hits on the enemy. One hit on the enemy. Sorry, he did 112 direct damage. Voitcher's moving ahead. And oh, there's the enemy RT. It's an SU-26, the Tier 3 Soviet, and he got the kill. Now, as you can see, the shells are quite slow compared to other tanks. And he just, I think that his platoon hit that SU-76, down for a T-28, gets a hit. And another one. And he got the kill that time. So he's now got two kills and Butcher's got one, Super David's got two. Yeah, he's just staying this side of the ridge line for the moment. Super David's very low on hit points. In fact, actually he's so low on hit points, he's out of the game already. And Butcher, well, he's not much better off. He's actually uh, just sitting on a very little health at the bottom. The enemy seems to be defending their cap quite well. Yes, we can see Boych has got only 18 hit points left, 5% of his health. Well, Tanker 3331 is an experienced player and he's still got 100% of his health. Well, I'm afraid he's just lost Boych as well. So now he's the last remaining member of his platoon. And so far, his platoon have picked up five kills. So that's not a bad start, but the battle hasn't finished. In fact, there are two tanks down on the enemy. Now, I think there's something that um, the tanker 3331 has actually spotted, and that's that the enemy tanks seem to have done well in the town. And they're headed back to the cap, so I think that's where he's headed to help defend against the enemy. And the first of the enemy invaders has turned up a Panzer 1C, and he's just well, we just lost two tanks in the cap area. The Panzer 1C got one of them, and the Cruiser 2 got the other. At least I think that's a Cruiser 2. Yep. So it's going to be a lot of work for him because he's got to defend the cap, and now. They are down by four tanks. So he's being asked to carry the team. 
Only five of them left. Now, where is that Panther 1C? Remember, that's got the machine gun, which can penetrate his armor very easily. At tier four, you'll find that most tanks, they are very, very under-armored when it comes to something like a Panther 1C. And yeah, he's getting hit by that Panther 1C, but he fires around in, takes him out of the game, one shot. Okay, gets it back over the ridge line to avoid anybody shooting at him. Oh, he's getting people to hit him, and the T-28 hit him in the gun. And the Cruiser 2 got a near miss with 44 hit points. So he's gone the other side of the hill. And I think he's going to try and use the gun depression. This Largo, a tank that was never built, but was designed for the Hungarians, actually does have fairly good gun depression. And the enemy's tapping. Unfortunately, from this position, you can't really see the enemy because they're behind those buildings. So he's going to have to relocate to get shots on them. And it looks like he's decided to go in, but there's only one enemy in the cap. There's still some enemy back at the their own cap, and it might be that the enemy tank is around the other side of that building. He fired into the Type 91, but he just got a hit. Trying to get a shot on the Panzer 4 A, the D, and he does get one. The Panzer 4 being with the short gun, which is fairly inaccurate. Going for the Type 91 again, gets a hit, 115 hit points. Going for another one, nope, doesn't get it that time. He's playing peek a bang and we can see where the T-28 is. He's the other side of the building. Took a round in the tracks there. Can he get shots on the T-28? Yes, he does. Takes him out of the game. That's his fourth kill. Right, now we've got a duck. An AMX 40. He'll need to load the heat. He has. Fires one in. Doesn't get a hit. But he takes a round from the AMX 40 who's firing AP at him. But that round does go in. 93 hit points. He'll have to do that at least two more times. Aims. Fires that one in. Gets 105 this time. And kills him. Now he bounced around from the Type 91, but he's got the right ammo loaded, finds one in for 100 hit points, one more shot, and he's got him as well, and that's his sixth kill, he's got a top gun. Now as this is, pan uh, as this is tier 4, you can't earn a Radley Waters, they don't award them at uh, tier 4. And he stayed behind the house just long enough to go unsighted by the RT, and the RT tried to kill him, but failed. And that RT is a Vespa. Now the Vespa is a tier, uh, it's a Panzer II with uh, a 105mm gun. And there's the Cruiser II. And he fires one round in and gets a direct hit. Lining up another shot. Misses on that occasion. You might need to get off this ridge line. Otherwise it's going to make it easy for the Cruiser II. Now if the Cruiser II has got the dirt gun. You can do a huge amount of damage with one shot. More than enough to take uh, Tanker 333, one out, but he took out that uh, T-40. Now he's taken out one more, the uh, M2 medium. Can he get this uh, Cruiser 2? No, he took around for 42 hit points, but he needs to use this ridge line. Oh, Cruiser 2 goes down to the Lorraine 39 LAM on his own team. That means there's only one enemy left. He's got eight kills. Only one enemy left. He has carried the team. And that enemy is that Vespa that I'm talking about. Panzer II with a 105mm gun. In fact, it was the mainstay of the uh, German Wehrmacht. They used the Vespa as their artillery support. They used the Hummel to take out the enemy Arties. And he's headed over to the enemy cap now. It's just him and the Lorraine 39LAM versus that Vespa. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a pity, really, that um, the Hungarians didn't actually buy the Largo. Um, in the end, they actually went with the Turan, which was a version of the um, Skoda T20, uh, T21. So they went for that design instead of the uh, Largo. But then the Largo wasn't as good as all that. And in fact, actually, we spotted the Vespa. There he is. Lining him up for a shot. 
Oh, look at that shot. That was fantastic. That's the Pascucci's medal and nine kills, but no Radleys, I'm afraid. But oh my gum, that's 12 kills for the platoon. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for tanker 3331 in the Largo of all things. He managed to get a bruiser medal, a duelist, a fire perfect, and a shell proof out of that battle. But best of all, here's the epic medals he picked up. He picked up a Pascucci's medal for killing both of the enemy RT, the Vespa and the SU-26. He got a cool headed for that, um, all the shots he received for, that came from the Panther 1C and bouncing off him, ricocheting off 10 ricochets. He got a crucial contribution. His platoon managed to get 12 kills between them and uh, three of those kills came from his teammate and he provided the other nine. <laughs> he got a top gun for getting at least six kills and the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle. And just look at the number of tanks he hit. That's fantastic for a tier four battle. Congratulations. Let's have a look at team score. Top of the table, 1,650 hit points of damage. He got the highest amount in that column. When it came to kills, again, he's top of the table with nine. The Lorraine 39 LAM managed to get two kills and 176 hit points. So congratulations to him. He survived the battle. And when it came to base XP, well, look at that. He's got the top in all three columns. 1,295 experience points out of that one. 425 goes to the Locust and 389 goes to the Panzer Camp Wagen 1C. Um, where was his teammates? Let's have a look. Well, if we look at that, we can see that Super David, actually wrong button. That's the right button. Okay. Uh, we can see that Super David picked up 298 hit points and two kills. And we also see that Voitcher managed to get 331 hit points and one killer for that battle. So I'm, I'm sure that they were very pleased to pick up a crucial contribution because this is a very rare medal and to get it because their teammate, Tanker3331, behaved perfectly during that battle. He really did do very well uh, considering the number of tanks that he was up against. Let's have a look at detail. He fired 26 rounds, got 18 direct hits and 17 penetration. The 17 5mm gun isn't that bad when it's played against other tier 4 and tier 3 tanks, but it would struggle to survive against tier 5s, I think. Uh, damage of 1,650 hit points, of which 529 were at more than 300 meters. He received 20 hits from the enemy, 20. Uh, four penetrations, 16 non-penetrations. Most of those shots actually came from the Panzer 1C. He blocked damage of 396 hit points. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged 11 of the enemy, killed nine of them, and did damage assistance of 227 hit points. He also managed to get 64 defense points when he took out the T-28 in the cap. On a free-to-play account, he earned 22,691 credits, and after repair, ammunition resupply, and consumables, remember he did have to use a fair amount of heat to take down that AMX-40. In fact, he wouldn't have been able to get through unless he'd used that, because the armor on the AMX-40 is pretty tough. And he actually only ended up with 2,983 credits, but he earned 1,295 base XP, 648 for personal reserves, 13 for playing in a platoon, took away 1,956 experience points altogether. So it was a very awesome carry. It was perfect because at the time that his teammates died, all he had was two kills and they had two kills and one kill between them. So five overall, they killed one third of the enemy team. But when the battle proceeded, they ended up where their platoon had killed four fifths of the enemy team. And that most of that was down to Tanker 3331. So I'm sure that he was uh, well congratulated by his teammates afterwards. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.